My name is Dirk Verburg. I'm a management consultant, executive coach and social media fanatic. I believe that people are the most important differentiator between successful and non-successful companies. Someone who has the same opinion is Marijn van Vaassen. Marijn van Vaassen is a senior international HR leader who works for a large multinational company. Marijn is very interested in the topic of employee engagement. Recently he wrote a book about it. The title of the book is The Art of Employee Engagement. I read the book with great interest. In this video I'll be interviewing Marijn about his book, why he wrote it, why he considers employee engagement to be so important, what organizations can do to optimize it, but I will be also asking Marijn why, after a successful career in financial services, Marijn decided to move into the HR space. I hope you'll be enjoying this interview and I hope that this interview has made you curious enough to want to read this fantastic book, The Art of Employee Engagement. So, Marijn, welcome. Thank you. Um, my first question is, why did you decide to write a book about employee engagement? What is the link between this topic and Marijn van Vaassen? Uh, someone much smarter than me once said, the key to organizational success basically comes down to uh, just two topics, um, uh, money and people. And in my humble opinion, in reverse order. Um, uh, so more specifically, um, the money part comes down to cash flow, manage your cash flow right, and, and you'll, you'll have a solid foundation for long-term success. And when it comes to people, it's people engagement. Um, now my passion um, has been HR for the last almost 20 years. Um, and as such, I felt I could contribute in the space of, uh, of employee engagement. And that's why I decided to, uh, to write a book about it. What is the central idea of your book, The Art of Employee Engagement? So there's a lot of uh, science and research behind uh, the significance of employee engagement. Um, and there's, there's been uh, quite a number of, of studies and surveys that, uh, that indicate um, the, the amazing results that, uh, that uh, employee engagement uh, facilitates. And, and my book um, is not so much on the scientific side, but rather it's, uh, it's it's almost like a how-to book, um, a recipe book. Um, so if, if you're convinced that employee engagement is something that you want to strive for, but you're not quite sure what the roadmap um, to achieving that uh, might be, then, then this, is, uh, this is a good book. Why did you use the word art in the title of your book? It's a good question and it uh, kind of ties into the, the research I referenced uh, a moment ago. Um, but like with, uh, with many, many uh, things, it's the, the how is so important. Uh, you, you could know all the facts, but the way you, uh, you present it makes all the difference. Um, you could have a very skilled uh, leader who has um, so many tools and, and, and so much experience, um, but then the, the, the delivery of that content, that, the, the how part, can, can make you feel like you want to trust someone and follow someone uh, as opposed to. So, so I think the how part, um, in addition to the what, is, uh, is, is very, very important. And that's, that's one of the reasons why I use the word art. Um, another reason is that um, I consider uh, employee engagement the emotional commitment to an organization and its goals. And I often make the comparison with a romantic relationship. Um, so where you cannot force someone to fall in love with you, uh, even if you really would want him or her to, it's, it's not something that, uh, that's, that's within your control. It's, uh, uh, and, and I think it's fairly similar with employee engagement. You cannot force someone to be engaged with, with your company. Uh, but what you can do is, uh, is set the scene. Um, so if, if you set the table nicely and you light a candle uh, and you, you engage in some good conversation, it could turn romantic uh, pretty quick. Um, 
and and this is uh, this is what the book is about. This is, the book is about uh, setting the scene uh, for allowing employee engagement to to happen. In your book, you describe a five-step process to realize employee engagement. Purpose, connection, contribution, recognition and growth. Why is connection so important in the context of employee engagement? So I've heard someone said once, the quality of your life is determined by the quality of your relationships. And I think this is very true and also true for organizations. Um, basically, an organization is a social network that people either want to be a part of or not. Um, and um, the, the way people behave uh, within an organization determines whether or not the ideals or the thoughts are transitioned into actions. And, and that plays a huge part into uh, walking the talk and the credibility and whether or not people want to believe in, in the organization that they're a part of. Do you see a specific role for leaders in companies to stimulate a connection in order to achieve employee engagement? So the chapter about uh, connection um, talks about a, a lot of different things, um, but uh, the, the, the main topic is uh, organizational culture, which I reference uh, in my book as uh, company character. Um, and organizational culture uh, a, a definition could be uh, basically the way we do things around here. Uh, the way we do things around here as a, as a, as a group, as a social network, uh, determines company culture. Uh, the influence that a leader has on, this, on the way we do things around here uh, is significant. Um, um, whether you want to admit it or not, people look up to leaders. Um, uh, their behavior gets copied, uh, gets cascaded. Um, so leaders have a, have a crucial role to play in, in setting the example and in uh, walking the talk. If a CEO would come up to you during a cocktail party and ask you, what is the single most important thing I can do to stimulate employee engagement in my organization? Which advice would you give her? Um, it's a difficult question. Uh, because, as you know, I describe, uh, I describe five, uh, five elements, um, but if I would only have her for a limited amount of time, um, I would probably uh, quote something around the last chapter. And that's a tactical decision, because each of the ingredients are sequential, so one builds on to the next. Similar to building a house, you, you would start with the foundation first and finish with the roof. Um, so I would give her the advice um, on the roof um, that uh, try to facilitate uh, autonomy uh, with your employees and bottom-up goal setting. You studied business administration and you started your career in a financial role in the financial services industry. When and why did you decide to pursue a career in HR? So if I'm completely honest, um, I, I didn't really know what, what to do or, or what to study uh, in the first place. And I studied business economics because it's, it's a broad subject that offers many different uh, opportunities. Uh, and as such, it seems like the most practical thing to do, um, which I did. Um, and, and quite successful. I started my career uh, in, uh, as you mentioned, in the financial services industry. Um, but then um, in my early 20s, uh, my father passed away um, uh, as a result of, um, of, of, a, of a year long sickbed. And, and that uh, instance really made me rethink pretty much everything. Um, so it, it really grounded me in a sense that it kind of forced me to think what is important and, and, and what is not. Um, and as a consequence, um, I, I made a lot of changes in, in, in my uh, personal and professional life. Up until then, I've been, I'd been pretty much coasting through life easy on autopilot. 
um, and and that uh, that that moment, I, I could almost say, um, really, really uh, put me in the driver's seat. Um, at the time, I was working uh, for a company which uh, which offered me the opportunity, a rather unique opportunity, to um, to follow in my father's footsteps um, uh, with that same employer, which is to this day uh, amazing to uh, to consider. Um, and that's basically how I how I um, started, uh, I jump started my my career in um, in HR, uh, first in recruitment and later um, um, personality assessments, um, training, and uh, from there I, I kind of build my uh, my expertise. And I've never looked back since. It's um, I think HR is a is a is a a, a wonderful it's a fantastic uh, profession it's it's so broad with uh, with many different uh, facets it has uh, financial elements it has psychological elements it has uh, legal implications uh, learning and development as you very well know um, so from from that perspective um, I find it uh, really um, diverse and interesting um, and to bring it back to uh, employee engagement, I think the, the HR profession overall, its ultimate goal is to facilitate employee engagement. So whether that is making sure a payroll is paid on time um, or um, learning and development, um, everything ultimately contributes to, to employee engagement. Marijn. During your book presentation, you said you always had the ambition to write a book before you were 40. Where did the ambition stem from? Yeah, um, so, so I guess it has something to do with an early midlife crisis. Um, but in all seriousness, um, I, I, um, I really felt uh, an ambition or a challenge to, to um, put what I've learned so far uh, on paper, um, to organize my thoughts, I, I really uh, took it as a as a challenge almost. Um, so, so would I be able to capture my learning in in a, in a cohesive and uh, in, in 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 such a way that it's also a pleasant read um, that others might benefit from? Um, so, so this was this was the 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 original um, the original thought behind. Uh, so, it's it's one thing to to acquire. A certain level of expertise, uh, but uh, to put it on paper in, uh, in 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 a meaningful way that people want to read is uh, is a is a different story. And the 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 forty year mark is is rather trivial, if I if I'm honest. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it has to do. You, you have to set yourself a goal uh, because otherwise, um, and when when you do this in in your own time, it's uh, you, you need some kind of uh, motivator. A lot of people have the ambition to write a book. You are one of the few who actually managed to realize that ambition. Do you have any tips for people who also want to write a book? So as corny as it sounds, I really enjoyed uh, writing this book. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm passionate about the, the subject and um, for about, uh, for a little over than uh, one and a half years, all of my free time uh, went into this. To give you an idea, um, I, um, during the time that I wrote the book, I switched uh, employers, uh, I moved uh, houses, uh, we moved from one place to the next, um, and we've had our second child. Um, so, so I'd like to think that I've had many different excuses to, to uh, delay or to, to stop writing, uh, yet I didn't. Um, I must say I also got a lot of support from, from my wife, um, uh, to, 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 who enabled me to, 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 uh, to write. Um, yeah, be really, if, you, if you're really passionate about, uh, about a subject, then, uh, then write, do it for the right reasons. Um, um, I don't expect to be to become a millionaire uh, from this book. That's not the intention uh, why I wrote it. I wrote it because I'm passionate about uh, about the subject. And then, 
you will find uh, the drive. Al along the way, uh, apart from my wife, I've, I've also had uh, lots of professionals that helped me. Uh, so I employed a writing coach, um, I employed an editor, I employed a, um, how do you call it, a form giver, um, and a publisher. So, so there, there, there were a number of professionals involved um, in, in the process as well, and that uh, was a team effort. You're already a published author and you have already one book under your belt. Do you have any ambition to write a second book? Um, so, so a second book um, would be around the same topic uh, and perhaps a deep dive uh, in, into uh, specific elements uh, uh, in, in a little bit more uh, greater detail. Um, I have become wary of the investment that it takes. I'm not necessarily talking about US dollars or euros, but rather the time investment and the constraint that it puts uh, on your family and, and, and friends. Where I was rather ignorant uh, before, it, it, it now becomes a conscious decision. So um, I haven't started writing yet, um, but I do know what it takes and I, I'm not ruling anything out. <laughs>